I'm not 100% an expert, but I've been watching foreign drama shows for the better part of a decade, definitely um, before 2010, as I'm about to say something that you may not know of. Squid Game is like the Hunger Games because it's a deadly game, per se. However, the premise of it reminds me of another game that was originated in, J in Japan. And that is a uh, drama called Liar Game. Uh, Liar Game is essentially the same concept as this one. Um, I believe there's no killing on the show per se, but you didn't know what was going to happen. It had a second season as well, but the premise of the show is essentially the same. You get people into debt and you bring them all into a specific secret area and they play young-ish games in order to win a grand prize at the very end. Sometimes you help each other, sometimes you don't help each other, but the premise of Liar Game was to trick your opponents and even your friends into letting you pass certain points in the game. Sometimes you play something rather complicated, and sometimes you play something rather simple, like um, like a blackjack, or you play uh, poker, or you play something something childlike with either colors or numbers something that seems simple but in the end someone really smart can manipulate the system into getting everything that they want so that was the premise of liar game that uh you couldn't really trust your opponents or your allies and you had to think for yourself However, in Liar Game, there was a special person in there, uh, and that person wanted everybody to win um, and was particularly naive and not very smart either. So she had to bring somebody else in that's very conniving, and that person was guiding her along the right track. So it's, it's uh, similar in a, in a way to Liar Game, Squid Game is. But in in this game, this guy didn't have a ringer to bring in with him. Maybe he does only for the first episode. So this guy only has himself in there. And maybe he's going to get some people in there to form a group, uh, which seems like the case, um, against uh, the system. In Liar Game, there was a essentially one main person who was controlling all of the minions who control the, the marks and started the games. Same thing here happening in Squid Game. Just like in uh, the Saw movies, there's one guy, Jigsaw, controlling the minions or the pigs to get the marks for the traps. Same premise. But Liar Game, I saw that way before I saw Saw. Saw came out maybe three or four years after I saw Liar Game. Liar Game was uh, actually a manga and it turned into a drama. It never had an anime. It's rare when I, whenever I see something go from manga into a drama. But when you see how the, the actual drama is, the, the live action drama, it looks phenomenal. It sounds phenomenal. Great soundtrack, great characters. It looks, the, the characters in the show look way better than what they were drawn in, in the manga. So when I saw Saw, especially the later Saws, it reminded me of Liar Game. And Squid Game 100% reminds me of Liar Game. Uh, Liar Game actually had a Korean counterpart as well. So if you want to know what the Koreans are doing when it came to the Liar Game format, there's a Korean version of that one, just like Squid Game. Now, I don't know if Squid Game came out in Japan first, um, because... Korea does take from Japan, and they do it in their own their own way. But um, I'm gonna look up on Squid Game and see what's going on there. Korean dramas are always good. Like in, in my opinion, I've seen nothing but good Korean dramas. When it comes to the acting, when it comes to performances, the the, the music, the settings, everything's always perfect. When it comes to Korean stuff, they don't go around. <laughs> so um I'm looking forward to seeing more episodes of Squid Game. That's it for now. Clack off.